Sir Isaac Newton. To me, he's famous for his hair. I mean, look at that. So nice, so curly, so much volume. To much of the rest of the world, Isaac Newton is famous for his three laws of motion and lasting contributions to the studies of physics and mathematics. We here at ZSpace created an interactive park and named it after him. Welcome to Newton's Park. Over here, we have our main menu filled mostly with functions you'll recognize throughout the ZSpace learning apps. These include hiding and showing labels, enabling ZView, opening your photo gallery, settings, saving, and going back to the main menu. And over here, we have the Newton's Park backpack, which includes an assortment of force applicators, ramps, materials of friction, balls, blocks, and targets. And then here, we have my favorite menu in Newton's Park, which offers different gravity states for us to work in, but I'll come back to that later in the video. Stay tuned. Now to start building something, I'll go to the backpack and grab one of the ramps. And the ramps and platforms are adjustable. You can change their size and position by clicking on this yellow diamond, and then click on this yellow diamond to rotate it to face any direction. Among the force applicators here, there is a drop column, a couple of different launchers, and a force area. And some of these force applicators have a third yellow diamond that allows you to adjust the amount of force it applies. Let's pick a ball now. These vary in mass, and I'm going to pick this special one called the Z-Ball. And it's special because when you click it, this box appears and allows you to adjust its mass in kilograms. Now when you change the mass, just be sure to hit apply. Now I'm going to pick a block. And these are useful because they add even more depth to the explorations of friction in Newton's Park. And you can see that in a moment when you see how it compares to the ball moving. All right. Up next, we have our targets. We have bullseyes, putting cups, boxes, and hoops. I'm actually gonna use one of each because I like them so much. And here we have materials of friction, which can be applied to any ramp or platform. Just drag the material you want to a platform or ramp and you'll see it glow, which means you can let go of the material and it applies. Cool, so I think we're ready to test the design. So I'll go up here and click the launch button, which looks kind of like a play button, to launch everything in my scene. Awesome. Now I see some things I'd like to adjust, so let me reset the design by clicking the reset button. And before I make adjustments, let me get some more concrete data from the test we just ran. So I'll click here to review. Now I should mention that when you click the review button, you'll be shown the most recent experiment. Newton's Park remembers only the last experiment that it's ran. Now in review mode, we can replay the test at full speed, half speed, or even slower. We can also pause and even pick a specific moment on the timeline by clicking with the stylus, or we can scrub through the timeline frame by frame with the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. And if you want to save a short video of the experiment, you can do so with this save button here. Now the coolest part of review mode is that when you click on any ball at any point in time, we'll be shown information regarding its movement at that exact point in time. So this is pretty useful for collecting numeric data from the experiment. Now I'm going to click the door to go back to the main scene where I can make adjustments to the design before running the experiment again. And now is when I'm going to bring us back to the gravity states. And I'm thinking I'd like to test this design on Mars, actually in zero gravity. So I'll drag and drop that in and test the experiment. And interesting, this ball didn't move, maybe because there's no gravity. Okay. Now when opening a pre-built activity in Newton's Park that includes instructions and questions, you can see those here. You may be asked to answer a question with text like this, or with a photo, which you can get by clicking on the camera icon, and you can use the left button to zoom in, then click the main stylus button to take the photo, and you'll see it here. Another way to enable the stylus camera is to right click on some empty space in Newton's Park to bring up a general context menu and pick the camera icon. And to switch back, simply right click again and switch to move mode. When we're done with the activity, we can submit our work or export it to a PDF. Now for you creative and adventurous folks who are freestyling in the sandbox, that is not in a pre-built activity in Newton's Park, and you create something cool and you want to save it, simply click the save icon and choose how you'd like to save it. All right, at this point, you should know enough to get started, so go for it. 